Dr. Nero. Martin Gray. Oh, Mr. Gray, thank you for meeting me. Please, have, have a seat. Sure. Um, I cannot tell you how relieved I was to hear that you wanted to represent Drew. Oh, it's my pleasure. Very exciting case. And one I have no intention of losing. All right, you know, Elizabeth, it, it's just not going to be easy. I mean, we, this experimental procedure, we're, we're forcing it on a, on a, on a healthy guy. Uh, no, medically, he has a brain injury. He doesn't know who he is. Yes, I know. How are we going to convince the court of that, that the procedure that he is refusing to do, if he was in his right mind, he would say yes to this? I know how. Put me on the stand. Hello. I have nothing to say to you. I am so sorry that this is happening to you. Really? Yes, of course I am. You sure? Yeah. Because the last time you and I spoke, you seemed real worried that you were going to lose me. And now here I am. It's almost as if it couldn't have gone better for you if you planned it yourself. I'm sorry. For choosing Jason over me before we were old enough to crawl. Oh, Jason told me how you found out that you were a twin. He told me about the picture that you saw in the paper and how you assumed that we had kept him and we had given you away. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I really hoped that we had time to straighten this all out, but then... Well, then Drew d disappeared. There's still no news. No. No, how, how do you, um, how do you feel about that? I don't know. I think that the other guy who's me, he seemed like a really good guy. You know, I have, I have lost Jason so many times in so many ways. Well, he's still here. No, he is back. There is a big difference. Look, I, th I have worked so hard to hang on to the children that I have left. I think I should have focused more on, on what you needed for me rather than what I could get from you. I think maybe I owe you an apology. I was angry and I took it out on you and I shouldn't have done that. You don't deserve that. I'm tough, and so are you. I mean, after all, you're a quarter main. Cameron, are you sure? Because I know you've had doubts about how I'm dealing with the situation. I don't doubt that you love Franco. Okay, and I don't want you to do this alone. You know, Franco used to tell me in times of trouble to look to you for clarity, because that's what he does. Yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's my kid, you know. He's hip, he's cool, and then he gets... Schmaltz, you like. Listen, we're gonna have to put you up on the stand and you're gonna have to testify if that's okay with you, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay, now I don't know who's gonna be representing Drew or Franco, but they are gonna grill you about your relationship with Franco. Fine. Um, it won't be the first time that Franco's put me in a tough spot. And no, Franco and I have not always gotten along. But, you know, we were just starting to when, when he saved me. You know, he looked me directly in my eyes, and he told me to tell my mom that he'd be back. Oh, that's great. Hell, that's really good. I was standing directly over him when the procedure happened. I was looking into his eyes while I was watching him disappear. I was the last one to see Franco at all. <laughs> 